Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel, Nonstop Talking with your girl here, Vivian Liu. Um, let's see, I talked about this in my series wrap up for Cardcaptor Sakura, um, where in 2017 I created this like slow going challenge of myself of rereading um, childhood favorite manga, especially the ones I own physical copies for. Um, and I did mention it in that series wrap up as well that I was going to do uh, my next series wrap up for Sailor Moon. Uh, my sister actually bought me the two part box set that included um, the stickers and these are the new covers before the Eterno editions came out. By the way, I'm wearing a Sailor Moon uh, t-shirt today <laughs> just for this video <laughs> and I should show it off. Fun fact, uh, I actually attended AX the year that um, the Eterno Edition covers were revealed and I actually got to see the mangaka's agent. Like, that's a person who came over and I guess introduced them, unveiled them. Welcome to series wrap up for Sailor Moon by Naoko Takeuchi. Today I will discuss the 12 volumes that are in the new now old set. Um, I will also include the two short story bind up and the two volumes of Codename Sailor V. That's a total of 16 volumes and frankly no one has time to individually talk about each volume so I'll just be doing highlights. I enjoyed my reread of Sailor Moon. Um, I think the art was really great, the fashion was really cool, and I think it's still cool to this very day. And the premise of a group of magical teenage girls saving what starts off to be Tokyo, Japan, and then the universe is just fantastic and entertaining. I have to admit that adult me did find some moments cheesy and some dialogue uh, too straightforward. Maybe it's because now that I'm older, I'm jaded, um, but honestly speaking, um, I think Sailor Moon is one of the few shoujo that has proven itself to be timeless and forever pleasant. I completed my reread um, in its entirety in 2017, so I don't really remember like specifics to share, um, but I'm going to give like a quick overview because I don't want this video to be too long. My favorite character is Sailor Mercury. Um, when I was younger, um, I just felt like I related to her the most because we both had short hair, we both wore glasses, and uh, my favorite color is blue, and I actually like, you know, like reading, and so I was like, oh, I'm like her, and she's like me, so I like her the most as a child, and I think it's still like she still holds that number one spot to this day. Um, I would say like a very close second would probably be Sailor Mars, especially during this reread. I like rediscovered how like just fierce she is and I think that's like um, an admirable trait that I desire. Um, I also have a soft spot for Sailor Pluto um, and I think that's because she has such like a lonely backstory. The story just moved me and I think because of that there's always going to be like a little space um, in my heart for her. Uh, I think I like all the characters, even Crybaby, Sailor Moon, except for Chibi Moon. I found her annoying when I was a kid, and even as an adult, I also think she's just so annoying. It's like, stop hitting on your father. Like, ugh. I just think that, like, premise, especially when she becomes, like, I think, small lady, I'm just like, oh, I knew I didn't like you, but now I don't like you even more. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, and I just feel so bad because I'm like, am I just, like, hating on a little kid right now, Vivian? Yes, I am. <laughs> As the story progresses and the further in they go into like the universe saving, um, I do have to admit this um, and I'm like scared to say this about a childhood f favorite, um, a beloved manga by many, um, but I do think like the story starts to lag. Um, I think it gets to the point where there's just like too many villains and like in the beginning um, I really liked 
I, I feel like I like like the big villains from like the earlier volumes than towards the like the latter ones um and I think how do I explain this I think at first I felt like there wasn't enough time dedicated to um those villain arcs because they were so quickly defeated and then the introduction of so many new villains uh, I felt like caused the plot to kind of drag and feel like episodic um but it's not like a big complaint i think it was something i definitely didn't realize or notice as a kid it's just like as an adult i kind of read it and that's like the feeling that i get um but like i said i really did enjoy um my reread so it didn't like hinder the entertainment it was just something that i wanted to bring up so don't kill me and i think that kind of wraps up like overall how i feel about um sailor moon like i said i think it's one of the few shoujo mangas that's proven itself to be timeless and pleasant and i think it's entertaining the first time you read it and the second time that you read it or watch it um i actually i don't know i feel like maybe i prefer the anime just a little bit more but i'm not sure because i was watching like the new one or the newest one before I started my reread um, and I just remember like while I was rereading it I was just thinking like oh there's because of like the action and the fashion and everything like it looks better like moving and in color um, but I'm not I haven't really thought about this enough and I don't even know why I'm bringing it up now this is not the point Vivian let's move on I adore Sailor Moon and Tuxedo Mask I feel like the real OTP is Haruka and Michiko. <laughs> Next up, we have the two short story volumes. Um, they're just kind of more information about the girls and their day-to-day -day, like teenage life. And I really appreciated that just because I think like those kind of stories are really cute um, to tell, especially in contrast to them being in like protector fighting mode um the first volume i think had like evil spirits um and i wasn't really a fan of that i i found it really like immature <laughs> um so i didn't like the first volume as much as i liked the second volume the second volume was a, a better Next, we have the two volumes of Codename Sailor V. Uh, I actually never read Sailor V before, um, and it was an interesting experience just because I feel like fans would know that Sailor V was what started Sailor Moon, and so it is like the predecessor. Um, and like, as an adult reading it, especially like it being the last thing I read, um, I feel feel like I understand why like Sailor V didn't take off like it was cute um, but it wasn't like yeah it wasn't you know Sailor Moon um, but I'm glad because of Sailor V that we got Sailor Moon yeah yeah there we go <laughs> table time the Goodreads average is approximately 4.364 and my average is around 3.581 it's not too much of a difference a beloved childhood favorite um, would obviously be rated high and I couldn't give this series anything lower than a 3 like I said earlier I completed my reread in 2017 so there are some details um, I'm unable to rehash because I just don't remember uh, but it looks like volume 8 is my favorite uh, I didn't include the year published, um, but according to the internet, this series ran from 1992 to 1997. Cover time! This is hard. This is like ranking my favorite members, which is impossible. I don't even like Chibi Moon, especially when she's a small lady, but I kind of like the pink and cute pose of her cover this is too difficult <laughs> let's move on to the sailor v covers um i don't like the vortex firework background and i hope i'm not being mean but i'm not a fan of the mrs fitz from magic school bus like red glasses i checked online these are not mrs fitz glasses i wonder 
what is it that I'm actually recalling. As for the short story covers, I love them, especially the second one. It looks so romantic. Um, lastly, um, if it's between the new old covers and the actually new eternal covers, I drumroll please choose the eternal covers. I currently don't own the co eternal covers. I thought about buying them but I really don't have space on my manga shelf um, as of right now so maybe later on. Anyways this has gone on long enough. Outro time. Like, comment, subscribe. See you in my next video whenever that is. Bye!